it sucks totally when you hear news like this. It really does. A young upcoming talent, already at 23 years old, after having two like partial seasons, one you know being called up, second one from the shortened 2020 season. Last week had a brief shoulder injury that kept him out for a couple weeks, but still played 130 games. And then a wrist injury happens because of a motorcycle accident. What has not played a single game yet this year. And just when he's just about to make a return, BAM! We get hit with this news. Developing story as this just was announced late on Friday, but I was not able to do anything until now. But developing story. All-star shortstop and probably future MVP at the time. And a franchise player, basically, for the San Diego Padres. Fernando Tatis Jr. And Friday was announced that he has been suspended for 80 games for his first violation of the performance enhance... For, for, for testing positive for performance enhancing drugs. Officially making his 2020 season over. Um, it sounds like that um, that uh, the Potters have 48 more games on the regular season, season as of Friday. So that 48, you know, he'll be suspended for, and then the remaining, uh, he'll he'll um, leave to miss as many as the first 32 games of the 2023 season as well. Although Tatis' suspension would be reduced for any playoff games he misses if the Potters, of course, reach the playoffs as they are currently in the wild card race. Um, uh, he is, he was tested positive for a drug called Clostable, um, and suspended for 80 games effectively without pay immediately. Um, Tatis though, uh, has not, uh, has already dropped an appeal and he initially filed and goes on the restricted list and he is taking this suspension, not even going to try to fight it. A statement from Tatis and of course the Padres. First from Tatis. I have been informed by Major League Baseball that a test sample I submitted returned a positive result for Clostable, a banned substance. It turned out it turns out that I inadvertently took a medication to treat ringworm that contained uh, Clostable. I should have used the re- resources available for, to me in order to ensure that no banned substances were in what I took. I failed to do so. I want to apologize to owner Peter Seidler. Uh, well, the entire Potters organization, his teammates, Major League Baseball, and fans everywhere for my mistake. I have no excuse for my error, and I would never do anything to cheat or disrespect this game I love. And I'm completely devastated, as of course I was when I heard this news as well. There is nowhere else in the world I would rather be than on the field and completely comp- competing with my teammates. I look forward to rejoining my teammates on the field in 2023. This is the Padres' statement. We were surprised and extremely disappointed to learn today that Fernando Tatis Jr. tested positive for a performance-enhancing substance in violation of Major League Baseball's Joint Prevention and Treatment Program and subsequently received an 80-game suspension without pay. We fully support the program and are hopeful that Fernando will learn from this experience. Um, okay, it, was, it was confirmed uh, to reporters that the organization learned about the suspension this afternoon around two hours before it was made public. The Padres baseball ops leader was forthright about his frustration, suggesting that over the course of the last six months, I think um, trust has been something that we haven't really been able to have with, with Tatis Jr. Um, that's presumably in reference to the motorcycle accident that caused his wrist injury that he's been out for for this entire season so far. We're hoping that from the off season to now that there would be some maturity. And obviously with the news from today, it's more of a pattern and something we've got to dig a little bit more into. I'm sure he's very disappointed, uh, but at the end of the day, it's one thing to say it. You have to start by showing it with your actions. Amen. I definitely agree. This will also um, prevent Tatis from being involved part of the Dominican Republic team in next spring's World Baseball Classic. It's been a while since we had a World Baseball Classic, actually. I'm excited to see that come back again. Um, and then, like I said, he's going. To, he'll have 48 games this year, and pen, depending on how many games the Padres play in the playoffs, I'm hoping they make the playoffs because they're honestly the team I kind of want to root for to win the World Series, but this is a big blow for sure as well. 
Uh, but, of course, depending on how many games uh, they play in, in the playoffs, will determine how many games you'll have to miss at the start of the 2023 regular season. Right now, it's at least 32 games. Um and of course, you know, this is, it was an exciting time for the Padres. They had just gotten Josh Bell and Juan Soto, uh, a couple other, you know, acquisitions. Like they they were probably the big winners from this year's uh, trade deadline. Uh, of course, they still got Manny Machado having a fantastic year. Jake Cronworth's done well. And of course, Jerkson Profar has had an above average year, too. Uh, they, of course, have seen a lot of playing time for Hey Sung Kim at shortstop this season to kind of fill in for. Um, Tatis. We also had C.J. Abrams, one of their top prospects, get some time as well, but he struggled a little bit. He's been shipped off to um, the Nationals um, in the Juan Soto deal. So that's another blow there for them. Um, and of course, it sucks also the fact that just, I think it was last year, I believe it was, Tatis in February 2021, Tatis signed a 12-year, $340 million contract. The fourth largest in Major League Baseball history. And, of course, you know, that's that's just uh, even more of a large blow as well. So, what are my thoughts on this? So, obviously, there's some trust issues here. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing, of course, for a ball player to come out and say, you know... I didn't do my research well, and you know, with you know what I took to help with the ringworm, whatever the heck it was called. I don't quite understand, you know, all that stuff. Even though I, cause I don't, I shouldn't want to want to care either way because you know I don't get involved with drugs. It's not worth it at all. Um, so obviously, you know, he's young. He's twenty three years old. You're gonna make mistakes. This, of course, though, is a big one. And it definitely hurts a lot of trust. And we've seen some players, well, not test positive for PEDs this young, that do show a little bit of like a, you know, they're still young. They're kids still. You know, you see some people over the years like Manny Machado, you know, um, Tatis' teammate next to the hot corner. You saw when he first came up how, you know, he still, you know, acted like a kid. You know, he was like a hothead. You know, Bryce Harper was a big hothead, of course, as a kid. Still somewhat is, but not as bad as he was uh, when he first came to the majors. You see the growth. You've seen Manny Machado mature. You've seen Bryce Harper mature. Fernando Tatis Jr. just may be just that young kid, you know, who's, you know, just taking advantage of him being a big star. All the money he's already being, you know, guaranteeing right now. Uh, in the upcoming 12 years of his career, you know, it may just be one of those things. You know, he's just, you know, he's still, he's still maturing. You know, it's unfortunate that it has to happen this way. I mean, you know, I want to give people the benefit of the doubt that, you know, he didn't try to fight and appeal it. You know, he just came out, yes, this happened. I didn't mean to do it, but, you know, I'm taking the punishment. Of course, though, again, we've seen how many players say that, and some of them still come back and get the second suspension. Which, of course, as you know, I don't do too many videos about suspensions on this on my channel. Um, the first violation, which I remember, the first when, when I first started watching the baseball, the first PED suspension I remember hearing was Rafael Palmeiro getting suspended for ten games, and that was it. Now it's I think the first suspension is eighty games, half a season. Second game is a full season, one hundred sixty-two games. The third one, you're banned. I think there's only been one player, I think, if it's... Ah, like a, one, of, one of the former Mets closed. I can't remember what his name was. I think he got, got, got tested positive three times. Right now, we have one active player, Robinson Cano, who's tested positive twice. And he's a free agent again. He's been with three teams. I think he, he's done. He's done for sure. Tatis Jr. is only 23 years old. He's got so much time left. You know, again, what was this a way to kind of, you know, help, you know, his injuries? I hope that this happened because of his injuries. I hope he hasn't been, you know, using this these the whole time. Because trust me, I saw the star power in Fernando Tatis Jr. He's a future MVP, no doubt about it. He, I, If he was healthy last year, he would have hit 50 homers. When's the last time a shortstop hit 50 homers? How does that even happen? Like, he's a, he's a true five-tool player. And... No wonder, you know, you put so much faith in him at such a young age. 
You know, he goes down, he goofs off on a motorcycle, hurt, hurts his wrist, and now he gets suspended for testing positive for PEDs. He claims, though, again, that, you know, he's, you know, he didn't mean, he didn't mean to take that, he didn't, but he didn't, he didn't do his research well, and he, you know, owned up to it, didn't appeal it. I respect that, but yeah, yet again, you gotta prove yourself, in my opinion. Now, you, you have to prove that, you know, yes, it was an accident, it was not on purpose, Ah, uh, but it still just sucks, especially when you hear someone like like like, like this guy who is only again only twenty three years old, and you know has had one you know somewhat full with the hundred thirty games last year, in what forty two homers, you know stealing like twenty five bases, like you know this guy is an MVP, and then he gets all this money and he just goes off and does this. So I know the Padres, you know, want to build trust again with Tatis Jr. You know, I know you know, they still want to look at him as like their future of the franchise. Um, but the, I, th- this is a big blow for them, definitely. I mean, they've done well without him this year, but I'm pretty sure you know this just you know it hurts the club. You know, they they had this this big star to look forward to coming back very soon from his wrist injury, and again now he's. Gone for the rest of the year, and for probably the first month, maybe of um of twenty twenty three, just sucks. Hopefully, though, again, this doesn't happen again for him. Hopefully, when he gets back, he still is the MVP caliber player, and you know he learns this experience. Like I said, there's a lot of ball players we've seen. Again, I gave you two examples of Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. Two guys who came to the majors very young, and obviously, you know, I mean, they didn't, they, didn't, they were never suspended well for you know this, but obviously they did show you know they're you know the young kids you know hot heads you know full of their egos a little bit, but they've matured as you know they've grown and played you know more years in the big leagues for sure. And I hope that's the experience that does happen for Fernando Tatis Jr. Of course, we'll have to wait and see. What happens when he comes back in 2023. So guys. That's my thoughts on Fernando Tatis Jr. Being suspended for 80 games. Due to a failed PED test. What are your guys thoughts on this? Do you think Fernando Tatis Jr. truly did. Make an accident. Truly. This is all truly an accident. Or you think there's more to come. Do you think this is a process of just. Tatis you know just. Growing up and maturing in the Bailey business. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure as always to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel. And follow me on Twitter as well at DemandAirBoy93. Until then guys, I am checking out. I'll catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. Peace out everybody.